All right. Name of the movie is Pulp Fiction. I think this is the same guy from the last movie, guys. Yeah, just a different accent. Everything about that woman seems crazy. Probably. I don't know. There probably never was a little girl in the first place. But right. I, Most likely it wasn't. You want to rob banks? Uh, a little more than telephone. It's the idea of, of, of having someone against your will. And if you don't do this, this will happen. It's not just with a telephone. I'm saying I want to rob banks. I'm just illustrating that if we did. Garson, coffee. Garson. Bro, you're in the wrong environment, bro. <laughs> to be doing all that. This it's a little unnecessary. A coffee shop. Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why yes, they do. Bars. Liquor stores. A lot of it probably has to do with the fact that there's probably less money being kept in the building, right? Manager. Uh, but keep in mind, guys. I don't know where they are talking like this, but don't do that in the South. Same as last time, remember? Oh! Crowd control. Handling please. <laughs> <So, ew. laughs> That's legal, buddy. Huh? Bro, those are gigantic hoops. My hoops are nowhere near that large. I guess um, my earrings are like uh, I think called huggy hoops. They're a lot tighter. I mean, listen, Amsterdam is great, guys. I, I, I love the overall aesthetic of it. The buildings look great, you know, in reflections of, like, some of the water-lined streets. You get what I'm saying here, guys? It's like a little paper cup. I'm talking yeah. about a glass of beer. Everywhere. And in Paris, really? you can buy a beer at McDonald's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, imagine going to go get a Big Mac and getting a beer as your drink. That's pretty normal, right? You go through the drive through that's probably the kicker right there. Go, go through the drive through at like KFC, order your food, and then say, yeah, I want a beer, right? Or, or Burger King, yeah, I want a beer. Uh, McDonald's, oh, I want a beer. Th that's Europe. You know a quarter pounder with cheese here doesn't really have, uh, I think it's just like mustard and uh, mustard and, uh, and ketchup. Uh, in Europe, I think it's like mayonnaise, lettuce, et cetera. It's slightly different. Like multiple spoonfuls of of mayonnaise instead of ketchup, where ketchup would be normally. Mayonnaise and French fries. That may sound that may not sound crazy to some, but that's absolutely odd to many. All right. Mayonnaise flavored ice cream. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> they decide if they want to make more shows. Uh, it's called a pilot uh, because it's the first time on air. Five years was on account of Marcellus Wallace's wife. Wow. All right, Marcellus and uh, Rockamora. Is he alive? Oh, okay. And all for touching someone else's feet. See, listen, if you guys ever wanted to know the repercussions of touching somebody else's feet purposely, it's that for future references, stay away from other people's feet and that right there will never happen to you. Oh, stay away from people's feet, guys. You don't think he overreacted? No. Bro, they, their feet touched the ground, guys. The ground is disgusting. All right. The ground is disgusting. Your feet sweat. But I guess so do the lady parts. They sweat, too. And they do, like, super weird things a couple days out of the month. Oh, no, guys. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me rephrase this. They they both could, guys. I'm kind of a germaphobe, and so 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 I can see how that all, that could equally be moderately disturbing, right? But I think the feet are just probably the most disgusting things on on the human body, uh, consistently. Like guys, there, there ends up being stuff between people's toes, guys. They stink. The holiest of holies. You're the foot master. He puts them in his mouth, 100%. Guys, they're like either like detectives or criminals. <laughs> I think they're detectives though, guys. They, they have detective vibes. They're extremely prompt. Why not just knock on the door? Come on, let's get in character. Let's go. Get in the character. You know, it's just, it's like if you were gonna take your buddy's wife to a movie or something. Why would you do that? Just 
good company, that's all. Ah. Uh. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some there's some guys absolutely who like seeing you know, uh, you know, men do things with their wives. You know, there's a the famous there's a famous one out here. I think his name is Sneeko, right? But like, that's wild, guys. I don't know any man that would be like, yeah, please. I'm going out of town. Please just do all these things with my what, guys? Nice it feels it sounds like a date, guys. You know who we are? No. It's partner, don't you? Oh, they're criminals. It says it on a cup. What's the point of this conversation? Because of the metric system. I'm just to wash this down. Bro, why are you even asking him? You walked into this man's house, said you are business associates with Barcellus, right? Proceeded to eat his burger. And you're asking him politely, bro. Don't even ask him politely anymore. Just obviously do it because you're going to do exactly as you desire anyway. Right. How do you know the code? Where'd that light come from? The purpose of this light is what? <laughs> Guys, uh, is something like that luminous coming from? The suitcase? Or maybe it means hmm, they've found the prize? Maybe? <laughs> right? Could be. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Did I break your concentration? Oh, that's it. Okay, I get it. I get it. The reason what was uh, somewhat disturbed me is uh, his overall angle, but I understand that in Hollywood you can't just actually like point a firearm at someone. But it was really obvious that he wasn't pointing at him here. What? What? Mm -hmm. Ain't no country I ever heard of. <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> what? What language do they speak in what? Guys, this is really good framing. Like, composition is on 10, guys. They're great. Is he like a, like a preacher, guys? Bruce Willis. The scoring is absolutely amazing, guys. Is that Ving Rhames speaking? Guys, was this all filmed in the same, like, at the same time? Or was this, like, all, like, like CGI? The reason why I'm asking is because, like, there's a red gel on, uh, I would say, camera right of the guy who's speaking with the band-aid on the back of his neck. And Bruce Willis has a red gel on the, uh, on camera left, really. Um, they're like literally opposites. It, and then it also, it also looks like this guy here that's speaking with the, the bald head, he's not in the same room because a gel will be bleeding onto his left side. Bro, what's the big secret? Yeah, that's a young Ving Rhames. I've noticed like a lot of the times, uh, this is not like the first time that, um, the director has used like these mirror shots to kind of tell a story. I find that super interesting and unique. I'm guessing because of the age of this movie, he may have been one of the first ones to, to do this uh, at the scale, at least. So you don't see that guy. He's talking. You know that he's talking a whole lot of nonsense. But in the mirror itself, you actually see him speaking. This is the second time, second movie that we've seen from him that he's utilized mirrors in a way that's uh, super unique. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. You can't say that someone should be deleted, no trial, et cetera, et cetera. Bro, you should be. Uh, you're poisoning your neighborhood. Man's automobile. I like mean, it's don't crazy. fuck with another man. Like he, like his sense of morality is so high, right? Apparently, uh, like he thinks he's much better than he really is. He's the bottom of the barrel, bro. You're again, you're, you're poisoning your neighbors. You're, you're poisoning the city. Um, you're with the people who you're saying should be uh, deleted with no trial. Dance. Mm, like water or like alcohol or something else. Like Maybe he's self-medicating pretty much due to the absolute debaucherous lifestyle he's living. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's probably related to that, guys. And this is his date night. Hi, Vincent. I'm getting dressed. 
It's the boss's wife, right? And is she in like a panic room or something? Most probably. All right, so this director is really good at showing like the seedy side of uh, humanity. Let's go. You see? Bro, look. Let's go. Look at that nastiness. All right. That's her. That's. Ugh. All right. This is nasty, guys. All of that. It, it shows you the, the living space that she is within is absolutely filthy. And someone purposely put their hands on all that dirt. All right. That dirt, sweat, dead skin. Look at that. Guys. Is this movie about feet? I think so. As of right now, <sighs> square, that's a rectangle. That's a rectangle. That's not, a <laughs> is that worse than a square? A square is even on all sides. So, you know, rectangle may, honestly, I think a rectangle is, is, is a cooler square. Like a 1950s theme. Date night place. You know, Zorro as a wait as a waiter. What does Zorro have to do with the nineteen fifties? That's a great. That's a great analogy. Ah, we have some anamorphic lens guys. Lenses. Oh, she's trying to get him in trouble, guys. Oh, no. Yet. Yet. Those were his words. Her makeup hasn't changed at all, guys. I don't know why. You're not, like, sweating. You shouldn't need to add more, like, powder to your face. Powder her nose. Oh, no. Powder her nose, guys. Now, who will be our first contestants? Right here. Guys, is he supposed to be like Richard Nixon or something? Why is this happening right now, guys? Whatever's going on right now shouldn't be going on, guys. Bro, listen, listen. Just it's time for you to go because if you continue to stay here, uh, there is no telling what's going to happen, and you may end up going off of the fourth story building. Also, also a constant use of uh, of Zippos, reflections, like shot beautifully, absolutely beautifully shot. I'm guessing that's probably not the the stuff that she normally powders her nose with. It's not because that's something else. Well, that's not going to turn out very. All right, very Mia. Good, guys. Ew, ew. Why? 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 It, why instantly put your hand? <sighs> She's still there, though. She... Like, why would you reach into someone's pocket, pull out some type of, you know, flowery, you know, granulated texture item, right? And this, then just immediately go to start putting it inside of your note. Guys, <sighs> this is your fault, bro. And no, no, no. You, you're both equally kind of at fault here. All right, you bring this substance into the into her into this household. She obviously enjoys powdering her nose. Uh, you leave that substance with someone who enjoys powdering your nose. Uh, so I guess that's the reason why she did it because she's, you know, um, addicted to this thing, guys. But <sighs> you're gonna be blamed for it. You know, she makes it, and it's definitely a different substance. Fruit brute. 
I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. <laughs> That's not how it works, bro. And he's already there. Oh, he just wrecked your house for real. Like, what can you even do in this situation, guys? Just, just go to the, go to the hospital, bro. Operation life. Someone's losing. Someone may be losing their life, but yet, randomly in the scene, there's a the game of life, the operation. I wonder. Any correlation? I didn't understand nothing this man just said, guys. Yeah, you gotta push hard. Yeah. N not that many times. <laughs> then she should shockingly come back to that. <gasps> she should, at least. Not that high up, bro. So you miss. Like four or five inches. That's not her heart, bro. The awkward silence. What's yours? Don't speak about it again. I seriously doubt that. Right. I can keep a secret if you can. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's ridiculous. See you around. Guys. That's that's ridiculous. That's actually a funny joke. An old general store, in Knoxville, Tennessee. How do you know that? Made. Did the father give that to him and tell the story. Man, he never met before in his life. Bro, what is happening? To deliver to his infant <laughs> son. And the reason why I'm, I'm like, you know, people say, "Oh, you're you're confused a lot, guys." This scene, as of right now. I don't see the context. Where's what is the context of the scene? Watch. It's shot beautifully. There's no doubt. It's dead. shot absolutely well, amazingly. But his father gave it to him. So he hit it. I've also noticed uh, a lot with his uh, with Quentin Tarantino's movie, at least from the first one to this one here. When we saw Reservoir Dogs and now this one, full of racial slurs, almost unnecessary. Like literally like unnecessary amounts of just like slurs. He died of dysentery. Give me the watch. Dysentery. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up two years. Then that was yours, bro. You can keep that. You can. Oh, <laughs> you can hold on to that one, bro. Listen, I appreciate the story. Okay, uh, you can. You can. You, you can keep that indefinitely. I'm guessing the little boy is him. It has to be. Okay. So, so they used that very specific part as a transition into... All right, we're here. Because initially, it didn't make any sense, guys. I'm sorry. Now it does, obviously. Bro, weird thing with feet. Again, the person that is driving this uh, also has no shoes on. All right, so the takeaway so far, uh, as the stories are odd, right, um, is feet. I think the feet seems to be the thing that is, uh, you know, kind of tying everything together as of right now. Definitely a horror film, guys. Definitely. Yeah, that's definitely Ving Rhames, guys. All right, so why do they keep showing the back of his head? Let's let's see where this takes us. Sorry about that, Floyd. I mean, they, they signed paperwork. Better have. The overall tracking, like, um, like, so for example, they're in a, a fake taxi with like a green screen, but they're choosing to use footage from most likely the 1950s, 40s. Maybe this is a call out to something, I don't know, definitely from like a black and white era. Very odd scene here, but uh, intriguing. This is what I feel like. Like, it's like full of Easter eggs almost. That's some hell you got there. I mean, I respect you correcting him because people just tend to, to just be ridiculous with this. Guys. 
just because you speak Spanish, it does not mean very specifically you are from Mexico. Uh, and I have noticed uh, in the United States of America, it is extremely hard to for people to understand that at times. Uh, there are many Spanish-speaking countries. Boxer would still be alive. If he never laced up his glove, which... She doesn't look like the common typical, you know, ca cab driver, guys. Look either oafish or like a gorilla. <laughs> but on a woman, a pot belly is very sexy. It's unfortunate what we find pleasing to the touch and pleasing to the eye is seldom the same. Mm, it could be. It could be different, though. If you got a pot belly. But they won't find us, will they? Potentially. Oh. Live like hogs in fat house forever. This is like a collection of like short films that are kind of like in proximity of each other, I think. Right? It's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this movie so far. Because one scene really has nothing to do with the other scene, except for like some of the same people are, are in it, if that makes any sense. It feels like a collection of of short films filmed beautifully. Some that are that are based in the same universe. Donde está el zapateria? Excellent pronunciation. <laughs> Excellent pronunciation. That is terrible pronunciation. Fucking look what the fuck do you think I'm doing? Look in your rectum. You may have forgotten it there. You sure you got Then I did. You sure? Then where is it? It's not your fault. You're treating it. You're treating her like uh, it is, though, bro. Literally, you're not the one who should be apologizing right now. I'm just going to go ahead and point this out here. Uh, the gangsters are definitely going to be there, guys. Most, most probably. We got a. Suzuki Samurai on the street. I see you, bro. Okay. <laughs> Where's the other one, though? That's actually one of the firearms that I've uh, been looking for for a while. Uh, obviously not like the automatic version of it, but like a um, the semi-automatic version of it. That was a very silent demise to what I thought was the main character of the movie, guys. V Rames? <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> it's in his store, bro. The un the unnecessary uses of, of slurs. It's not adding to the. It's not adding to anything for me personally. Ball gags. Where are we going with this? This. They're showing the time for a reason. Got some pro mist filters being used. These are like serial deleters. They just randomly happen oh, to stumble upon. <laughs> oh god! He's not a cop. Security guard. Well, let me not repeat it in case that's like something crazy that I've never heard of in my life. That's probably offensive. Let me not repeat that word. We'll find out if, that, if that's an offensive term or not. Which one do you want to do first? Two. Yep, that's the original. Usages of it, if I recall, actually, still again un unneeded slurs. But, but how he just used it is the original kind of usage of that uh, thing, if I recall at least. Guys, I may be too vanilla for this stuff, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know. <laughs> but that guy in a leather suit is weird. <laughs> what is happening, guys? Is he like, they're like deleting him. 
I mean, I figured in a movie like this, they wouldn't they wouldn't like hide the fact that they're deleting someone and how they were doing it, but they seem to be going on going down that path this time, guys. All that grunting, guys. <laughs> oh no, that is. I really don't want to see what's going on behind that door, but I think I have to at the same time. But I really don't want to see what's happening, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> What now between me and you? I mean, he did save your life. He, he wrecked him. He saved it. Oh, that. Don't tell nobody about this. Obviously, that was that was number one. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the deal. That was he was doing anyway. He got a bike. He won't need that anymore, bro. Where did you get this motorcycle? Doesn't it matter. Motorcycle, baby. It's a this is from the beginning. Blessed is okay, think, I'm starting to put things together now, guys. Okay, because listen, guys. So we are now two hours into the movie, and I have listen been trying to put piece these things together. Okay, so the movie is not taking place like in the exact you know linear progression that I am absolutely used to with movies, and I've been trying to be like, what is happening here? These are like all these short stories being put together into one in the same universe. Okay, we're here. We're here. This guy was here, but for some reason they didn't see him. <laughs> How you miss both of them? Was it? I'm sure that wouldn't happen with, with you guys doing absolutely debaucherous things, though. But why would they stop you from being deleted? All right, it was a miracle. That someone had a bad shot. Can we go now? Such a bad shot as that. Yes. I wouldn't call it a miracle, though. We should definitely be playing some sort of drinking game regarding, like, racial slurs throughout this movie. You'd probably be intoxicated. Extremely. Oh! Bro, that's why? Listen. If you need a PSA regarding, like, you know, why you don't why we don't flag people with our guns. The reason why we don't do that is because accidentally that could happen. First of all, his trigger discipline was absolutely abysmal in the first place. Wow. Bro, his finger is still on the trigger. Guys, I'm way too visual, guys, for some of these, for some of these words to be used. All right, guys, so here's one, here's one thing. Obviously, this is uh, Quentin Tarantino, um, but the thing about it, guys, is... Uh, I don't think he's a very good actor. Don't get me wrong. Uh, direct, direct for the rest of your life, sir. But I'm almost positive there could have been a better actor doing this, guys. <laughs> this very specific part, all right? Bro, I don't believe people speak like this in real life. I just don't believe it. <laughs> the wolf. Nine minutes, 30 seconds later. Ooh, Acura NSX, early 90s. Great choice. Great taste. All right. Just great taste. 90s. You're accurate. NSX. Jimmy, right? This is your house. You need to go in the back seat. Scoop up all those little pieces of brain and skull. Get it out of there. Right. Absolutely. Just do your, do your job, bro. Like, literally, right now, your job is to make it so what you just did by flagging the guy in the back seat and then, you know, uh, deleting him. Uh, you need to fix that, bro. Um, I don't know why you just don't, like, burn a car or nothing like that. But either way, nobody will be missed. That never happens in real life, bro. Perfect. We couldn't have planned this better. Okay, and that's why they were wearing those ridiculous clothes when they went into that that club, right? Where Marcellus was talking to Butch. Like... All right. You don't know why, bro? Your, your finger was on a trigger. You were flagging the guy in the back seat. Absolutely beautiful car. This is the same restaurant as the first scene. Okay, yeah, guys, things are coming full circle. Hey, nah. Vincent, don't you see that? 
it don't matter. You're judging it. I just don't see how how someone as someone that would be divine, right, uh, would even care to protect people like this. So it's shit the wrong way. That. But why? You're terrible. Oh, uh, and that's why he was alone when he went into uh, Butch's house apartment. Oh, guys, the beginning. He mentioned something about a hero, right? Who's going to be the hero? He thinks now he's super divine and all these other things, right? Um, so I'm guessing he's going to probably be the attempt to be the hero. <laughs> and this is probably another reason why we don't see him later. He got deleted. No problem. You going to give me a problem? He just said no problem. He just said no problem. That's the book that he was reading uh, when he was deleted by Butch. And obviously, you don't draw on a drawn gun ever. What is it? Whatever it is, it's something everyone wants because it's gold and shiny. They're not going to tell us. Okay. Fonzie is cool. Noted. I've been through too much over this case this morning to just hand it over to your. <laughs> I, I gotta go pee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it literally says that. <laughs> right. I'm giving you that money so I don't have to your. Are you about to recite the whole thing over again, guys? And if you heard it, that meant you. <laughs> so it meant nothing to you the whole time, but yet you. Oh, bro. Okay. Bro, this guy is so warped. No, it's not, bro. The truth is, you walked into this place and met someone that strikes fear into the soul of your essence. <laughs> That was a life changing. Guys, their day was crazy. All right. Um, we just encountered something different. I'm not going to compare, you know, this guy's films uh, to anything else other than his own films because uh, he absolutely is not the regular director here. Definitely an absurd amount of racial slurs used in a way that. It was just like, why? <laughs> okay, just why so much? Shocking, back-to-back -back shocking. Uh, one of the little short story things that happened, or the chapters, let's call it, I felt was definitely meaningless. It, it didn't give me anything. And that was the, like the 1950s diner segment. I didn't really see the relevancy in that, other than just to add time to the movie. It felt like padding to me. It was filmed beautifully, just didn't really work very well for me uh butch's segment also i don't know guys i i would have been fine with just the story being the first segment and the last segment definitely doesn't take anything away from the film itself it's obviously a uh like a filmic masterpiece based off of everything the composition wise it was great coloring it was great lens choices were great definitely felt like a lot of anamorphics were used here or probably Nothing but anamorphics were used here. There were a lot of like oval, like bokeh balls in the scene. So it kind of tells me that it was just really that. It looks great. No complaints there. I think the last part of it saved the entire film for me. It was losing me in a couple of parts of the film. I was just like, okay, the purpose, the point is to say, like, what's happening because nothing was really explained very well, I would say, until the end is when you can kind of put things together. Imagine seeing this for the first time. I know a lot of people are going to comment regarding what I just stated, not understanding that I'm encountering this for the very first time. Like, first encounter with a film like this is was definitely troubling. The first segment of it was great. I loved the way things flowed. Then the story started progressing. No, no, the story really didn't progress at any time. Not at all. I think we just all saw, I think we saw what was happening all at the same time. I think all of this may have happened at the same time other than the 1950s like diner thing. It didn't add anything for me again. But up until the end is when I was able to kind of piece things together and things started to make sense. 
that was obviously done on purpose. Um, and that Ving Rhames situation, guys, that was wild. All right. The one where he was, um, you know, the, the whole pawn shop situation. <laughs> guys, the watch, also the watch situation. I don't know why you would tell your, your like, tell, I guess, one of your partner's kids that these are all the things that happened for the watch. And then out of nowhere, you pull the watch out and you put it into the kid's hand and the kid is just all giddy and taking it from you um, without fully grasping that it probably smells of fecal matter. Guys, oh, I don't know, guys. This is it. This is an interesting one. Um, I'll probably have to watch it, you know, probably a couple more times so I actually understand well, not even understand. I think I understand it, but like, um, just so I can pick up on like some of the things that I may have missed. I feel like the, uh, there's a lot of Easter eggs in this movie, guys. But all right, listen. If you guys want me to actually, uh, you know, continue down the path of Quentin Tarantino, uh, no problems. We shall. Just um, tell me the best one we should be checking out after this one. I know a lot of you guys uh, have said uh, Jang, D D Jang. D oh gosh, guys, <laughs> that movie. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to pronounce that I'm having a hard time with. D D uh, Django, Django, or something like that, guys. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly. And if you guys would actually like to see the full length version of these reactions, they will be on Patreon at the second tier. I'll catch you guys later.